who am I to ask thirty pounds, thirty whole pounds for 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 this session? I've never I've never been paid before. Maybe I should do a few more free sessions and then I get paid. How, how can somebody who's in that that sort of mindset? How can they? kick themselves out of it and, and, and actually say, hey, you know what? I'd love to help you. Uh, 30 pounds, we'll do the session on Monday. I will see you there, fantastic. How can they develop that? This is a very good point. And I think that's where, and it's a bit of a cliche in our industry, but I think it's very powerful and it works. The power of investing in yourself first. Because a lot of people that struggle at the beginning is because they have not invested in themselves enough and therefore, they kind of feel like frauds or fraudsters because mm. they say, oh, well, who am I to charge this amount? But then suddenly yeah. I remember I spend tens of thousands of pounds in courses, trainings. And if I am to look at right now, I spend more than 120,000 pounds in mentors, coaches and trainers within the past six years. Wow. So some people say, wow, this is a crazy number. But the reality is that if I think right now about I spent all this money to learn and craft my skills. Then I'm counting the hours and I'm saying, actually, I've been doing this consistently for the past six years, 10, 15, sometimes 20 hours a day to build my skills and build my craft. Is this yeah. worth less than 30 pounds an hour? Hell, the freaking no. And suddenly <laughs> you have a burst of self-esteem coming to you. So think about first that all the work that you have put in. And the reality is that if you have not put enough work, then put the work in. Learn your craft, master your craft. Secondly, think about before the session, if you are still struggling with this feeling, think about all the money that you have spent to learn this craft, all the time that you spent to learn this craft, and think about in particular what will happen to the life of the person if they sign up with you, how much more help that you can give them if they say yes, rather than they say, oh, you know what? No, I'm not going to buy. And that will give you a massive boost immediately, right? Got it. So so, so basically we're, we're kind of keeping two points in mind when, we're, when we reach the point of, of discussing money. Because, of course, by the, by the time we reach the point of discussing money, the other person has decided, you know what? This is for me. We're now just figuring out how much this is going how much I need to invest financially. So it's it's not like you're exactly. it's not like you're grabbing a random person off the street and saying, You give me money. So the the person's <laughs> interested. <laughs> hey, I wonder if that would work. I might give that a go tomorrow and report back. <laughs> Why not? I think it would be a nice one. Uh, hey, hey, you <laughs> give me a card of card. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> So we 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 kind of got two two things that are going there. One is reflect upon how much have I invested in myself in order to be the person who can justify uh, uh, charging thirty pounds, three hundred pounds, three thousand pounds, thirty thousand pounds, whatever it is for a session. How much have I invested in myself to be worth so that my uh, what I bring is worth that? And if we don't feel, if we still don't feel that all our investments are worth what we're charging, then that's, that's a, a sign that we might need to uh, refine our, our skills a bit more, put, put, more, put more, more hours into it, as it were. And the second point is that look at what's, what is the value to the other person if, if – um, I mean, uh, shortly before the show, I, I was speaking with somebody who who came to me. They want to stop smoking. Uh, it's not something I normally do, but they saw what I did. They say, "Can you help me stop smoking?" Yep, absolutely. We uh, talked about it, mapped the stuff out. I gave them the price. They signed up there and then. Why, why did they do that? The price wasn't isn't isn't a rock bottom price. It's a, a, a decent reply. Re, uh, gosh. I was doing so well up until that point. It's a decent uh, <laughs> price reflecting uh, all the offer. But to them, we worked it out. It's going to cost them the equivalent of two and a half weeks worth of cigarettes to have the session, after which, after, after two and a half weeks, all the rest is profit for, that, for them. Yeah. So uh, it, it, it became like, well, yeah, I'll pay that, no problem. 
so when we get those two, uh, we're clear on, heck, my, my time is worth more than £20 an hour because of everything I've, I've invested in me and the benefit to the other person. They're getting thousands of pounds worth of benefit from this, so they will be happy to pay a few hundred pounds for it. Exactly. Those, those are the, exactly. the two secrets, really, yeah? Yeah, and, and you, the more you will do it, the more clients and case studies and testimonials, the more self-esteem and self-belief you will have to charge more. Now, for example, I remember when I started out doing coaching and consulting for coaches and speakers, in particular, teaching them how to sell from the stage without being a douchebag. This is what we mainly teach. How to, can you create a live and online events uh, that are really profitable and you can sell and make really good sales without being a douchebag? And, yeah. you know, the hard sale back of the room, I hate that. So we, we uh, teach the alternative. And I remember the first time I taught someone our strategies, our techniques, then uh, they didn't get much result because they, did, they needed more experience. And then I yeah. taught my strategies, techniques to someone else, and I became better at also explaining what I was doing because we were making good hundreds of thousands of pounds on there. So what we were doing, then teaching other people how to do the same, and then as soon as I started seeing the results of my clients, getting people that were doing their first speaking gigs and selling 6,000 pounds in their first ever speaking gig, where it took me about, uh, about 100 speaking gigs to make, I think, my, my first 1,000 pounds in one day, <laughs> which made wow. things in perspective. I'm like, oh, what, what I'm teaching is more powerful. So instead of charging yeah. 100 pounds for this session, I'm going to charge 500 pounds if, if they make a return of 6,000. And then I got another client that uh, made 23,000 pounds in three months. And I was like, wow, this stuff is powerful. So let me raise my price. Yeah. And I think that the more results you will have with your client, the more case studies you will have, then the more confident and more self-belief you will have to, to charge more and increase your price because then you can see tangibly what is the return that your clients are going to have? Is it making sense? Absolutely. So, yes. Yeah, so you uh, felt more comfortable in uh, raising the price of, of what you were offering because you now had proof that people were, were getting the results. So, you so say you had was it one, one person that their first go at using your strategies they they did a six thousand six thousand uh, dollar yeah. uh, session. Yeah, they sold their first event, £6,000 on uh, their first event. And I have yeah. to say that this is more the exception than the rule. Because sure. uh, th there are a lot of people that uh, want to start becoming speakers and they don't know how to speak. So he knew already how to speak. He was already a good speaker, but never made a sale in all the events Got that it. he did. Yeah. So we did a session, boom, he made a £6,000. So there are people that uh, get, uh, I'm not here to sell the dream, it's always going to be hard work, everything you're going to learn. Some things will come easier for you. Some things will come more difficult. That's the reality, as we well know, Keith. <laughs> right? Absolutely, absolutely, yes. But no. then uh, I'm sure like yourself, now I know that you have an incredible high percentage of success with all the people you work with when you are doing the, your hypnosis work, your confidence work. And that's how you were able to raise your prices because you know that the work that you do has an incredibly high percentage of success rate. It's exactly yes, you, you're, you're right. It's uh, you're right as uh, social proof, testimonials, case studies, etc. So the more more uh, I, I found, the more of those that I had, the more comfortable I felt with uh, with the, the, the price, uh, prices that I was that, that I was charging because it's it's not just me saying. Hello, I'm a random person. Give me some money and I'll help you with things. It's hey, I'm the confidence. And hopefully, and hopefully it's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Well, let's, let's not go that far. <laughs> but yeah, I can say, look, I'm the confidence alchemist. I help people transform their deepest fears and phobias into their greatest strengths. Here's a couple of dozen people who've given me case studies. So it's a couple of dozen people, different case studies video from them in their own words. Here's where they were. Here's what we did. Here's the results they got. This stuff works. If you're serious about it, are you ready? 
shall we talk? So you're absolutely right. So that gives us basically three. So we've now got our three, three secrets, I guess. First is all about recognizing how much you've invested in yourself. Is the is what you're charging? Wor- uh, does that reflect the value that you've invested in yourself? Yeah. Second one is, does it reflect the value that the other person is going to get? Uh, mm-hmm. If they're going to get six thousand uh, six thousand pounds of, of sales from that from their first event, of course they're going to stump up five hundred pounds to learn how to do that. Who who wouldn't? And the third one is. The more you do these things, the more testimonials, case studies you ha- you have, use those not just to to show other people what you can do, but I guess use them to show yourself what you're actually doing. It's like, oh, hey, I'm actually quite good at this. <laughs> exactly. Now you, uh, we we've now both mentioned that your what your, I guess your signature uh, uh, program. Uh, whatever is um, oh, I'm really building this one up well aren't I? I'm really really hyping this one up the main thing you talk <laughs> about is how, how to sell without being a douchebag without yeah. being a douche how how do we do that because we I'm sure we, we all have loads of, of stories experience about people who they are just Trying to force the sales down. You 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 uh, you quoted some of the stuff. Rush now to the back of the room. The first people to the back of the room will get an even better deal. Blah blah blah. We've only got five of these to go. Rush 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 run. Give us your money. How can you be uh, a good salesperson ethically without being douchey? What's what's some of the key key things that people can do there? This is a very good point, and in particular. I want to focus on, uh, if you are a speaker, that's what I want to focus on. It's less on the sales one-to-one, but the same principle can be applied in the sale one-to-one situation. In particular, I'm focusing on selling from the stage because that's the big, biggest examples that we have of these people that uh, they go up there, they deliver the 90 minutes presentation, it's full of NLP, not a language, they put you in a trance, uh, and then uh, you yeah. buy something that you don't even need uh, without even realizing it, and the only thing you're left with uh, is a big debt on your credit card bill. And yep. this is. Uh, Been there. <laughs> Well, yeah, been there too. <laughs> and yeah. I ended up spending £120,000. <laughs> when, uh, when you are selling from the stage, I think you can make two choices. You can make the choice of uh, doing like everyone else is doing. And uh, the reality is that it works. You will make a lot of money. Yeah. But I don't know if you're going to sleep as well as, life, as I sleep at night. <laughs> the other the other alternative is uh, to use a different model and this is what I would love to to share with you because we made uh, hundreds of thousands of pounds just using this model and uh, you can make uh, um, looking at our last weekend we had uh, nine people in the room five boat uh, we make 35 grand in a small weekend so there is uh, opportunities uh, and good money also if you don't want to sell in that way, because then you can choose. Do you want to be like them? Uh, do you want to sell like them? It works. You're happy. Do it. I personally don't. I'm doing it in a different way. And the way it works is that instead of having uh, your polished uh, NLP filled, uh, uh, magnetizing, mesmerizing, <laughs> hypnotizing presentation, then you're doing, you're doing something different, which is based on two different things. One is to deliver incredible value to the audience. And two yeah. is to have an incredible offer, which is, uh, will make them feel stupid if they don't buy. They both need to be combined. And um, let me go if you want. I can dig deeper into both strategies if you, if you want. Yeah, please. One, let's, let's spend a few minutes. Just, let's, let's, go, let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that we are because we are here, we have nothing else to do. So let's let's move forward. <laughs> we might as well. We might as well. <laughs> we might as well. Now the first one is uh, the value. Now disclaimer: if you deliver too much value, that you will overwhelm people, then they will come back to you and they will say, "Well, let me implement already what I've done," and yeah. then. Uh, 
I will see if I want to buy. So you want to avoid the situation. And how do you avoid that? 